Hey, it's Coach Jess. Today we're going to learn um, our rotation and offense and defense for a volleyball team. All right, right here, this is a 6-2 setup, which means you have your two setters and then you have a total of six um, hitters. All right, so this is how your starting lineup right here. You've got your first setter back here, and then you've got your middle and outside, and then you've got your setter up here. Your setters are always going to be across from each other, so in the diagonal, so no matter where you're at in the rotation, they're going to be opposite of each other. All right, so, like, okay, say now the other team's serving the ball. What you're going to do is this setter right here is going to move up to here, all right? This person is going to slide over here. This person is going to slide over here. These guys are all going to slide back to kind of help out a little bit. And this one's just going to help hide that setter because you don't want your setter to get the first hit so that they can set up the ball. All right? So you also, if you see now, you have your W right there. All right, so that's going to be your W serve reception. All right, now, after the ball is hit, this setter right here is going to be your main setter. They're going to touch the ball after it's bumped, so you want to get it to them. And they're going to move somewhere up in this vicinity once the ball is hit. So now you're going to have this. So now you've got your offense here. And these guys right here are going to kind of keep watching your back. And these guys are going to be set up for their attackers. So they're going to set up to spike the ball or get it over if the setter gets in trouble. All right, so you're going to bump the ball to your setter. Your setter is going to either set to the outside, the middle, or the back hitter. All right, now once you lose, and you'll keep up with this until you lose the uh, point or the other team loses their point. And then once you go to uh, serve again, you're going to rotate. And when you rotate, Everybody's going to shift over. So you'll have setter one here. These people here. And then you'll have setter two here. All right? And so then you'll serve. Once you lose the serve, again, we're all going to, everybody's going to shift a little bit. All right? So your setter's going to come hide behind this one. These guys are going to slide over here so that, again, you have your W right there. All right? So then these guys will still drop down a little bit to kind of help out, but these are your main two people right here because that serve's mainly going to come back here. They're just going to help out if it comes short on that 10-foot line. All right? And then now, once you uh, bump the ball, your setter is going to run up into this vicinity again. And it's going to be just like last time, except now you have a hitter here, here, and here. Now, should something happen and that setter does end up having the first hit while they're back here, they're going to bump it to setter two. Setter two is going to now become the setter for that round. All right, so now they're going to set up to one of these two hitters because setter one cannot spike the ball because they are in the back row. All right, so then you have your next rotation. All right, and your next rotation, setter two is here, and then you have a person here, person here, your setter one is here, and here. All right. You serve the ball, and your setter moved from here up to here, just like on all the other ones. The setter moved up. But now when you have, uh, when you go to serve receive, these guys are going to slide over again, and setter one is going to hide behind him so that he doesn't get the ball first. All right, and again, then you have your W. All right, you get the ball back again. This time it's going to be a little different. So you have these guys. But now you have setter two here, setter one up here, all right? And now when this happens, setter two becomes your primary setter. setter. Um, and so they'll become the primary setter. They're the ones that's going to hide behind here, and these guys will all move over. All right, so they hide up there. These guys move over. And setter one becomes an attacker. After, the ball, after you get the ball back over, setter two moves up here. All right, and now these setter one is an attacker, 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 and setter two has become the primary setter. To where again, it's just like when setter one that you want to bump the ball to them, and if they get in trouble or they can't get to the ball, that's when setter one's going to help out. But then you'll only leave yourself with the two attackers, just like before. All right, and after that, it's the same rotation again. 
you know, the setter two is going to start here. You have everybody here, and setter one will be here, and you'll have your attacker there. And again, setter two is going to move up to hide, and these guys are going to move over to cover that back row. All right, and then again, after that, setter two will move up here so that you have your three attackers again. All right, and then now you get the ball back. And you're going to serve. All right, you have setter two here. Attacker, attacker, setter one, attacker, attacker. All right, so you have your serve reception, or your serve, excuse me. Now for your serve reception, again, setter two is going to hide in this here so that you're still maintaining that W every time for serve reception. All right, we got the ball. We bumped it to our setter. The setter's up there, and they're going to set for your three attackers now. All right, and then one more rotation, and you've completed a full round of your rotation with setter one being back in that back service position. All right, and that's your uh, serve receive, your rotation in offense and defense for volleyball.